In this video, we're going to take a look at how to join vectors in Vectric software. So you can see I have a set of vectors on my 3D view here for my worksheet, and we have several tools in which to join our vectors. We have the option to join or close a vector by moving the endpoints to a common point. We can join or close vectors with a smooth curve, join and close vectors with a straight line, and then we have a dedicated tool to joining open vectors with J on the keyboard as a shortcut for it. So let's look at some of these options. So the first one I'm going to look at is moving the endpoints. So you can see I've got this triangle here, but the tip is missing. So this is where the join tool can come in handy because I can click this option to move the endpoints to a common point, and it will move them to a common point to close and join up that vector. Similarly, if I right mouse click and choose the vector, I can choose to close it by moving the endpoints, and it does the role of this button here, but you can do it on the actual worksheet itself. Now let's have a look at where you might want to use a curve. So you can see with my letter S here on my sign, part of it is missing. So let's have a look at the join tool for the smooth curve and let's see what that does. And you can see it joins up my S with a smooth curve and again, we can right mouse click, join vectors with a smooth curve and that will join that all up for us. Now we also have another option, which is to close with a straight line. Now in this case, all my A to be flat at the top and flat in the middle here. So in this case, I can click this tool to create a flat line across the top, or again, I can right mouse click, join close vectors with a line, and that'll send a line across to join that gap. And then we have our T here, and we can join that with a line as well. So right click, join with a line, and that's now all joined up. Now, what about the specific join tool? Well, with this tool, you can see whether you have open vectors and how you can close them. So right now you can see a bunch of different shapes at the bottom here, and they may look like they're closed, but upon further inspection, if you zoom in, they're actually open. So you may actually have some vectors that you may have imported or even created that you think are closed, but are actually open, but it's not quite visible because you haven't zoomed in. So what you can do here is come up to the Join tool and have a look at that vector, and you'll notice that what I've got it selected, it's telling me that it's an open vector. And it also is telling me that with my selected vectors, that my vector is the one open vector. So currently, because I haven't joined it, it's still classed as open. Now, we do have a tolerance field with which to close this vector. And what this field indicates is the start and end point of your vector. So effectively, the distance between the start and the end point of this vector, which in this case will be the distance here. So you can specify the tolerance for that to get that to join up. So in the current tolerance, it wouldn't close it. You can see it's still saying it's going to be open. So let's lower this tolerance down until we can get a tolerance that works. And we can click Join. And now this will be a joined vector. Similarly, you can see with this square here, while it looks closed, if you click on it, you can see there's actually a gap. So again, it indicates currently that the selected vector is open. And with a tolerance of 0.1 here, it will close that. And you'll notice if I go far too small, then it will still remain open because it's the distance between the end and beginning point of that vector. So if I click Join, that will now join up my square. And you can see there is no gap. So you can really see how powerful these join tools are and how you can see there's many cases for where they can be used. And while we're here, let's look at closing up the rest of our vectors. So we can join up our triangle by moving the endpoints to a common point. And for our safety sign, you can see that the vectors currently how they are. If I try to join it with a flat line, for example, you'll notice it crosses the gap like that. And that's not really what I want. So what I want to do is just extend this vector so I can extend it from this end or this sense, so if I go to node editing mode with N on the keyboard, I'm just gonna drag this vector, snap to this one, drag it up, and then from here, if I press escape to come out of node editing mode, I can click the join vectors with a straight line, and all of my vectors are now joined up. And that concludes how to join vectors in the software.